Brooklyn, my friends. And tonight, we will be taking another journey. A journey to the outer realm of space. A journey onto the Martian planet. So first, first we'll start off as we always do during one of these guided meditations. And that is by taking a few slow and deep breaths in. And breathing in. And breathing out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Finally, breathe in and breathe out. Now let's get into a comfortable position. And let's settle into your chosen space. It is quiet and peaceful. And free from distraction. Free from the mundane. Everything is so serene, so still, translucent, and clear freeing. You are in a world between worlds. A path leading you to the other world. And you feel yourself walking out of your body slowly, unintentionally, taking your own sweet time. Continue to feel yourself walking and swaying. Slowly, without deliberation. Taking your time to stop and enjoy the scenery between the worlds. You continue to stroll along your path. Walking along, you are in a haze. Almost like a dense fog. A cloud, if you will. You are so far away from your world right now that you literally feel as though you are walking on air. It's 
seamlessly you are floating about in the space just after stepping off your spaceship. Until you suddenly find yourself walking along the familiar stone path of the rusty red planet. And study its surface as you walk. It doesn't quite resemble a famously red planet that the pictures depicted in your school science book. Some areas are white, while some are green, and others are the signature red that Mars is well known for, with the hints of tannish brown minerals and sand. It truly is a desert oasis, a colorful planet containing a variety of colors. time of your arrival is early morning. Just in time for the first activity on your itinerary. Observance of the sunrise. You take in the peace and quiet of it all. You revel in just how different the sun looks when it rises over the barely there horizon on the famously red planet. The first thing you notice is the light blue sky painted with a violet hue. It's so artistic, you could swear that it was a painted canvas you were staring at and not an actual Martian sunrise. And in the distance, You spot a small white dot. If you were on Earth, you would recognize it to be the moon, but it's not. It is, in fact, the sun, albeit a much, much smaller size when compared to that of the Earth sun. Take a minute here and revel at its magnificence. Our first official stop on this tour is the canyons of Mariner Valley. We will start with a little rock climbing along the Olympus Mons, also known as the Volcano Mountain. At a 5% slope, some say it is taller than Mount Everest. Take in its magnificent volcanic surface. At 22,000 feet, you can take a slow stroll upward 
making the journey a worthwhile one. And you take in the scenery as you continue to climb 15 feet into the journey. Much like the sunrise on Earth, the sky on Mars during the day is like butterscotch or pinkish red in color. Kind of like clouds of colors meshed together like a tequila sunrise in a glass. And you are now making the descent down the mountain. And you find a pathway that leads to one of several of the craters on the planet. And you begin circling one in particular. And slowly and precisely, without a deliberate thought in your mind, and several hours go by, but it only feels like minutes. As you make your way along the center of what is known as the Gale Crater, You continue the stroll as you are greeted by the next site before you. This is Mount Sharp. You feel the breeze whipping through your hair as you circle around this mountain within the path of this crater until you begin the long trek up towards the top of the mountain. As you are climbing, you contemplate how amazing it would be to hike through the entire canyons of Mariner Valley where shrouds of mystery still have yet to be uncovered by the discoveries of science. And you finally make it up to the peak of the mountain. The view is incredible. With the golden sky directly above you you make out all the peaks and hilltops of the entire Mariner Valley. As we exit the crater now, we continue our walk up within the valleys As you walk, you notice tiny funnel clouds that have formed through wind and dust. As these tiny tornadoes greet you throughout the narrowly straightforward pathway. Before long, we come up to Rafael Navarro Mountain, which is more of a hill compared to the majestical heights of Mount Sharp or Volcano Mountain. And you are welcoming of the break 
as this hike slowly begins to wind down to a close. Your spacecraft meets you at the end of the valley canyons for a quick flight over to the Mars North Pole. As you fly over the polar ice caps of the plane, you are in awe at just how circular everything looks and how it differs from the snow found on Earth. As the ship turns around and makes its way back, you are greeted with a labyrinth of the polar ice caps. This time from the glacier polar plains of the south. As pretty as everything looks, you wouldn't think twice to stay inside your cabin, as the winters out on Mars are a lot colder than the winters spent on Earth. We have now come to the end of our long journey. And as we take a stroll along the parameters of the planet, we again see the sun making a descent under the horizon. The sky is blue and hazy this time around. And as the sun fades deeper and deeper into its descent, it seems more intense going down as it was going up. As you fade deeper into sleep, you will wake up and find yourself back on Earth. Memories of the red planet etched firmly within your mind and spirit to last a lifetime.